Hey, good morning, everybody. Been out this morning doing some chores and uh, was working in the greenhouse. Went out to water everything in the greenhouse yesterday, the little seedlings and plants that have come up and found that we're still having trouble with fire ants. The fire ants, um, have I sat and watched them uh, eating some of the seedlings and the plants. So I did some homework last night to figure out a better solution. The DE kind of disrupts them and does kill some of the ants, but doesn't permanently kill them. So I've got some other solutions, but uh, first I'll show you what the, the fire ants have done to the seedlings. All right, so as you can see, I've put DE around um, these three rows that are in here, and we have uh, broccoli plants, cauliflower, and a little bit of spinach planted. Of course, there's the moringa tree and a tomato back there. But what I came out yesterday, a lot of these, a lot of these plants, um, like these broccoli plants right here, there were some of them that were um, just about dead. And what I, what I did is I, I disturbed the soil around them just a little bit and found that um, the fire ants, the fire ants were eating, just eating off the stem. So you can see, um, you can just spend a few minutes sometimes and, and watch the, the insect life, what's going on there. And um, it may, may uh, be useful. So just watch those. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do today, uh, after my homework from last night, is um, we're gonna put out dry molasses. So we, being on a farm, I have a 50 pound bag here, so. Um, I'm going to put some molasses out on these and then we'll talk about what's next. Alright, so I went up to, the, to our little uh, shed and got some, some uh, dried molasses, granulated molasses. That's what it looks like. Just got a bucket of it here. And I'm going to spread it around inside there and uh, inside the greenhouse and uh, help detour these ants. By the way, this uh, dried molasses is also really good for feeding the organisms in the soil. The fire ants, for whatever reason, I don't know the science behind that, but the fire ants seem to really hate it. But uh, things like the beneficial nematodes and other um, organisms in the soil really seem to thrive on it. The, the bacteria and things that we want, mycelium, a lot of these things thrive on it. So it's a good thing to add. One of the other um, methods of killing the fire ants that I learned about was mixing sugar and borax together. Uh, mix those together and you get the borax coated with, uh, uh, with the sugar. The ants will take it back into, the, into it and the, uh, the borax is what that will actually kill them. The sugar just attracts it, so it attracts the ants so that they'll take it back in. But um, the borax, we're going to try that on some of these and see what happens. All right, guys, as you can tell, I'm waging war on fire ants. I'm tired of them eating some of the garden plants and things we work so hard to get planted and grow. Um, the last final one I'm gonna show you guys is simply mixing a quarter cup of orange oil. You can buy this at uh, garden centers. You can buy it online and have it delivered. It comes in different sizes. I think this, um, this one was 16 ounces. It's kind of expensive, $15, but um, when you're trying to kill fire ants, it might be worth it. Uh, also add a quarter cup of liquid molasses. And you're going to add both of those to one gallon, one gallon of water, and uh, we're going to go check out and see how well this works. All right, hopefully you can see this, but I've got a really, really large fire ant mound right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to disturb this. I'm going to pour a little ring around the outside, and then I'm going to pour the rest of it in the mound, and we'll watch what happens.
great big hat mount here. And what I've done is I just poured that uh, poured that mixture of the uh, uh, liquid molasses and the orange oil on there. And the idea is that the orange oil will actually dissolve the exoskeleton on these guys and um, try to get it, enough of it into the mound that by using the whole gallon on a large mound like this, we should be able to get all the way down to wherever the queen is. And I can see all these ants, hopefully you can. And it looks like they're not they are, um, seem to be fighting off whatever uh, effect that's having. So hopefully we'll give that a try and I'll check this out in a day or so and see if this mound is dead. Thanks. All right guys, so that's, uh, that's it for today. Um, we will, uh, so some of the mounds that um, I treated with just the uh, dried molasses to see what, what the effect on those mounds would be. And uh, some of the mounds I treated with the uh, mixture of borax and sugar. And then you saw the last one that I did there with the water with the liquid molasses and orange oil. So um, I'll make a, another follow-up video and show you guys uh, the effect of those and see which one works best. So that's it for now. Thanks and have a great day.